who created this world? Was it evolution, alien civilizations, some kind of virtual reality programmers, or was it God? Was our planet formed solely by natural processes? How did life appear on Earth? Did mythical creatures really exist? What is hidden under the layers of time? How did people get here? What is the origin of a human being? Did humans evolve from apes? From reptiles? Or from Adam and Eve? Where did we come from? Why are we here? And where are we going? Book your seat in our spaceship. And let's start the journey through billions of years together. Evolution of the Earth. No secret, space is full of mysteries. It's much stranger and more complex than a human being can ever imagine. Take a look at the Earth. It is shaped by all sorts of unseen forces that no one can fully understand. Some of the unsolved mysteries just plague the minds of physicists. the truth is stranger than fiction. Sahara Sanders and Awesome Animation for you present. Mysteries and Facts Solar System Earth The Earth is over four and a half billion years old. But how has the world come to existence, in the first place? Some modern theories, arising from the nature of cosmic inflation, predict that our universe is contained inside a bubble, and that multiple alternative worlds exist inside their own bubbles. The bubble theory views the universe having expanded in the first little tiny fraction of a second after the Big Bang. Each of these bubbles was a universe in its own way, containing their own worlds.
we will discuss various possible forms of life on alien planets in detail in one of our next videos. Make sure you don't miss it out. Discovering conclusive evidence of life in those countless galaxies light years away is not as impossible as it may seem. But what does the official science say about it? What kind of forces have formed the universe? Here's the official version of the timeline. The Big Bang idea is the leading explanation on how the universe began. The theory was suggested by a Belgian priest Georges Lemaitre, about 100 years ago. It's also believed that after the Big Bang, 13.8 to 13.3 billion years ago, the Dark Ages took place. After the formation of hydrogen and before the first stars. By the way, did you know that? Black holes exist at the center of every galaxy. Our Milky Way galaxy has a supermassive black hole at its center, too. It's known as Sagittarius. A black hole is a region of space with extremely intense gravity from which nothing can escape. No light, no radiation, no particle, anything that enters the horizon of a black hole can be broken down into subatomic particles. Black holes are emitting powerful gamma-ray bursts, devouring nearby stars. They are prompting the growth of new stars in some areas and stalling it in others. Well. Let's get back to our timeline. 13.3 billion years ago, the first stars heated and ionized hydrogen gas. The process is known as ryanization. The following major types of planets were formed in our galaxy. Water worlds or ocean planets, metallic planets, rocky planets, and gas giants. Rocky planets. A terrestrial planet, telluric planet, or a rocky planet is a planet that is composed primarily of silicate rocks and metal. Data gathered by modern telescopes on the ground and in space suggest that small, rocky planets are common. As it's stated in Wikipedia. An ocean world, ocean planet, water world, aquaplanet, or panthalassic planet is a type of terrestrial planet that contains a substantial amount of water as hydrosphere at its surface or within a subsurface ocean. The puzzling thing about classification of celestial bodies is that many of them could be easily added to several groups at the same time. Also, different sources often suggest different classification systems and principles. We should keep it in mind. With all due respect to each and every opinion. Metallic planets are made up of metals that makes them different from other planets that lack a solid surface. Terrestrial metallic planets also normally have a molten heavy metal core and a few moons. Dense metal planets like Mercury are probably rare in the universe. Unlike the other planets of the solar system, iron makes up a disproportionately large amount of the planet. Gas giants. A gas giant is a huge planet composed mainly of helium and hydrogen. Chemically, every giant planet is dominated by hydrogen and its many compounds. Gas giants are often called failed stars as they contain the exact same basic elements as stars. Saturn and Jupiter are the gas giants of our solar system. 
The solar system consists of three types of planets, rocky, terrestrial worlds such as Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn, and ice giants such as Uranus and Neptune. Speaking about stars, there are many different types of them in the universe, from protostars to red supergiants. They can be categorized according to their temperature, mass, and spectra. In order of decreasing temperature, there are seven main types of stars. Yellow dwarfs. Red dwarfs. Red giants. Red super giants. Blue giants. White dwarfs. Brown dwarfs. Along with their brightness, or apparent magnitude. The spectral class of stars can tell astronomers a lot about them. For example, the full spectral class for the Sun is G2V, indicating a main sequence star with a surface temperature around 5800 K. Our Sun is a nearly perfect sphere of hot plasma, heated to incandescence by nuclear fusion reactions in its core, radiating the energy mainly as visible light, ultraviolet light, and infrared radiation. Formation of the solar system is dated back to 4.55 billion years ago. The Sun is about 4.603 billion years old. The Moon is thought to have formed about 4.5 billion years ago. While formation of our planet was complete 5 billion years later. Four billion years ago, first life appeared on Earth. With an environment devoid of oxygen and high in methane, for much of its history Earth would not have been a welcoming place for animals. The earliest life forms people know were microbes. Microscopic organisms that left signals of their presence in rocks. The signals consisted of a type of carbon molecules produced by living things. Four to three and a half billion years ago. First bacteria life. Four to three point eight billion years ago. The late heavy bombardment. A period during which the Venus, Earth, Earth, Moon, and Mars were subjected to numerous asteroid impacts. After quite a calm period of several million years. Three billion years ago. Formation of the first continent on our planet. Two, seven to 1.6 billion years ago. First blue-green algae also known as cyanobacteria. They became the planet's first photosynthesizers. 2.4 billion years ago. The Great Oxidation Event. The Earth's atmosphere gets more oxygen. 1.3 billion years ago. First plants. This catalyzed a sudden, radical rise in oxygen, making the environment less hospitable those microbes that couldn't tolerate oxygen. The supercontinent Rodinia was formed over one billion year ago. Eight hundred million years ago it began to break up. Since 
630 to 850 million years ago. The Cryogenian period, also known as Snowball Earth, the worst ice age in the Earth's history. 670 million years ago. First animals. 530 million years ago. The first species of fish, such as Placodermy and Arandispus, inhabited the waters of our planet. Five hundred and twenty million years ago, first creatures with shells, trilobites, and cephalopods first appeared during the Cambrian period. New marine species such as ammonoids, Orthoceris, Belemnitidas, Nautilus, Horseshoe crab, Redlichia rex, etc., had added their colors to aqua life. 'Extinction events took place. Loads of marine creatures died out. It was most likely a result reduced sea levels and global cooling, which dramatically impacted various species used to living in warm waters. 415 million years ago, the old red sandstone continent is formed by the collision of Laurentia and Baltica. At the beginning of the Devonian, which was a part of the Paleozoic era. 395 million years ago. First insects on land. Three hundred and ninety-three to three hundred and eighty-three million years ago. Ferns. One of the oldest groups of plants first appeared on the planet. Three hundred and sixty five million years ago, the late Devonian extinction, seventy per cent of marine species died out, particularly in the late Devonian. Those extinction events may relate to periods of abrupt cooling. Associated with the development of glaciers and the substantial lowering of sea level. 335 to 250 million years ago. Formation of the supercontinent Pangaea, surrounded by ocean Panthalassa. 300. After the late Devonian extinction, the first amphibians along with first trees appeared. Three hundred and fifteen to three hundred and thirteen million years ago. First reptiles, such as Hylonomus, joined the other inhabitants of the planet. These reptiles were lizard-like little animals that apparently lived in forested lands. 250 million years ago. The Permian-Triassic extinction. 90% of all species died out. 235 million years ago. First flowers began making the world a better place with their bloom. The oldest flower people found so far. Is the 130 million year old aquatic plant Montsechia vidalii. Unearthed in Spain in 2015. However it is thought that flowering plants first appeared much earlier than this. There is a lot of evidence of tropical species existing at this time. The climate was hot and humid. Atmospheric carbon dioxide was close to present day levels. 235 to 65 million years ago. Dinosaur eras 
As far as we know, all dinosaurs reproduced by laying eggs, as do most other sauropsids. Or reptiles. It's not easy to determine what species of dinosaur laid the eggs that have been discovered, because only a few dinosaur embryos have been found inside the fossil eggs. Winged reptiles, such as pterodactyl, which is the common term for the winged reptiles properly called pterosaurs, also laid eggs. Pterodactyl is a pterosaur of the late Jurassic period, with a long slender head and neck and a very short tail. Experts have examined the evidence that prehistoric flying reptiles had feathers and believe they were, in fact, bald. This would mean that the very first feather-like elements evolved at least 80 million years earlier than currently thought. Did birds evolve from pterodactyls? The pterosaurs were once considered ancestors of birds, and there are certain similarities such as pneumatic bones, but the pterosaurs had a wing membrane like bats and no feathers. Modern scientists believe that birds evolved from a group of small bipedal dinosaurs. Dinosaur communities were separated by both time and geography. At the beginning of their history, during the Triassic period, Dinosaur types were spread across Pangaea. However, as Pangaea broke apart, the species became scattered across the globe on separate continents. And new types of dinosaurs evolved separately in each geographic area. Dinosaurs ruled the Earth during three eras of geological time. The end of the Paleozoic era. Permian period. The entire Mesozoic era. Including the Triassic period which was 252 to 201 million years ago. The Jurassic period, about 201 to 145 million years ago. And the Cretaceous period, 145 to 66 million years ago. And the beginning of the Cenozoic era. Tertiary period. By the way, did you know? While some dinosaurs might have been able to wade or paddle through water, they did not live in oceans, lakes, or rivers. Mosasaurs and plesiosaurs, the giant swimming reptiles that also lived during the Mesozoic era, were not dinosaurs. Spinosaurus is the only dinosaur we know that spent time living in the water. Prehistoric squids were far more numerous, and their reign lasted longer. What was the biggest marine dinosaur? Ichthyosaurs. The largest ichthyosaur was Shonosaurus sicaniensis at approximately 21 meters 70 feet in length. This would make it the largest extinct marine animal. During the 165 million years of dinosaur existence the supercontinent slowly broke apart. 200 million years ago. Pangaea began to split into separate continents. Gondwana to the south and Laurasia to the north, separated by the Tethys Sea. The dinosaurs kept roaming the Earth. People know of about 900 valid dinosaur species that existed. Valid means scientists know the dinosaur from enough of the skeleton bones to feel pretty sure that it differs from all other known dinosaurs. There are hundreds of others which have been named, but are not considered valid as they were not based on well enough preserved fossils. One important dinosaurian synapomorphy is a hip bone. Actually three connected bones, together called the pelvis. With a hole in the center where the head of the femur or thigh bone, sits. There lived two major groups of dinosaurs on our planet. The ornithischia, or bird-hipped dinosaurs. And the saurischia, or lizard-hipped dinosaurs. The saurischian, or lizard-hipped dinosaurs, like all other tetrapods, had pelves. Hips. Composed of three elements, the ilium, ischium, and pubis. The saurischians form two major groups. The sauropoda were large herbivores such as Apatosaurus and Diplodocus. Why did some dinosaurs grow so big? 
Paleontologists don't know for certain, but perhaps a large body size protected them from most predators, helped to regulate internal body temperature, or let them reach new sources of food. Some probably browsed treetops, as giraffes do today. No modern animals except whales are even close in size to the largest dinosaurs. The theropoda were bipedal carnivores. Or meat eaters. Ranging from the chicken-sized Compsognathus and the fearsome Deinonychus and Velociraptor to the crested Dilophosaurus and the gigantic Tyrannosaurus. The oldest known dinosaurs. From the Middle Triassic of South America. Were Saurischians. One of the well-known dinosaurs is a Stegosaurus. Is it Saurischian or Ornithischian? Towering giants such as Tyrannosaurus rex and Apatosaurus are both Saurischians. But many plant-eating dinosaurs, including Triceratops and Stegosaurus, are classified as Ornithischians. Which means bird-hipped. Because their pubis bone was originally thought to resemble that of birds. Triceratops is an extinct genus of herbivorous ceratopsid dinosaur that first appeared during the late Maastrichtian stage of the late Cretaceous period. About 68 million years ago in what is now North America. Parasaurolophus, meaning near crested lizard, is a genus of herbivorous ornithopod dinosaur that lived in what is now North America and possibly Asia during the late Cretaceous period, about 76.5 to 73 million years ago. Tyrannosaurus is a genus of tyrannosaurid theropod dinosaur. The species Tyrannosaurus rex. Rex meaning king. In Latin. Tyrannosaurus lived throughout what is now western North America, on what was then an island continent known as Laramidia. It was the last known member of the Tyrannosaurids and among the last non-avian dinosaurs to exist before the cretaceous paleogene extinction event. One hundred and forty million years ago, Cordylagomphus first appeared. It's an extinct genus of dragonflies from the Cretaceous period. Before dinosaurs and birds came on the scene, dragonflies were kings. With wingspans of about two and a half feet. Ninety-five to eighty million years ago, during the Cretaceous period, the first crocodilians appeared. This group includes alligatoroids, such as Brachyshomza as well as their close relatives the crocodiles and caimans. Five million years ago. Asteroid hits Mexico, causing the Cretaceous tertiary extinction. The Chicxulub impactor, as it's known, was a plummeting asteroid or comet that left behind a crater off the coast of Mexico that spans 93 miles and goes 12 miles deep. In the geologic record, the boundary clay, which can be found throughout the world in marine and terrestrial rocks shows unusually high levels of the metal iridium. That's much more common for asteroids than for our planet's crust. The enormous amount of bio-organic matter was needed for forming the proper terra firma of the Earth. 
That's why the countless creatures and plants of dinosaur eras had to be giant. When the required vast layers of rich outer crust and soil were formed, the huge sized species of fauna and flora were carefully removed from the scene of life, by adjusting the planet's climate settings. It created that perfect basis for smaller and more intelligent species to evolve and thrive, slowly but steadily leading to appearance and progress of the humanity. Isn't it obvious it's done intentionally? At the end of the Cretaceous period, all Saurischians except the birds became extinct in the course of the cretaceous paleogene extinction event. End of dinosaurs Fifty percent of all species on the planet died out. Antarctica gets covered with ice. Intensification of world cooling trend It causes the formation of grasslands With the exception of some ectothermic species such crocodilians and sea turtles, no tetrapods weighing more than 25 kilograms or 55 pounds survived it marked the end of the Cretaceous period, and the entire Mesozoic era with it. While beginning the Cenozoic era, that continues to this day. How did the Cretaceous tertiary extinction affect the water life? After all the marine dinosaurs went extinct, the sea became a much safer place. Ocean reptiles no longer dominated, so there was lots of food around, and loads of species had much more room to evolve and grow. 50 million years ago, India collides with Asia, forming the Himalayas. Thirty-four million years ago, Gondwanaland finishes breaking up, with Australia and South America separating from Antarctica. The Azriroid was tens of miles wide and forever changed history when it crashed into Earth. It also created opportunities for birds and mammals, which survived and took over. On the land. By exterminating the dinosaurs the Cretaceous tertiary extinction made it possible for mammals to become the dominant land vertebrates. Hence, it paved the way for human evolution. Twenty-one million years ago, apes split off from other monkeys. Six to five million years ago, mammoth first appeared on Earth. The oldest representative of these species, the South African mammoth emerged during the early Pliocene. In what is now southern and eastern Africa,
5 million years ago. Humans separate from apes. According to Darwin's theory of evolution. History of life. To be continued. Consider subscribing to my channel so that you stay tuned.